we're back, Hi, at Nick. The, we're back at the bungalow. Back at the bungalow. I'm loving what you've done with the place. Yeah, look, I mean, we've got a rug, stuff. <laughs> It's nice, isn't it? It's going to be more sand than rug by the end. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, at least it's not mud. This they year. even put a picture on the wall, but I, I'm not really what I would have chosen necessarily. But you know, here we go. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like it's ready to be tapestried or something. This looks like one of those. Yeah. You need to get yeah, the needle, needle out and just start, you know, embroidering it. Anyway, uh, I, I mean, all this is fun, obviously. But yeah, uh, it's we're fun. here to. Uh, Enjoy the Super 6, and uh, you've got some new features and whatnot, right? Yeah, yeah, well, thanks for coming along and, and having a look at it. Um, as you know, the Super 6 is still actually relatively new. Um, here we've got the desktop, which we only just uh, recently brought out. Um, we've got one racked in there. This one's on a visa mount. We just found some heavy-duty visa mounts. We didn't make these, but if anyone's interested, they're really good for heavy-duty mounting of... Uh, so it's rock solid. Um, we've got a, uh, a one-off Super 6 over here on your right. We're not actually making these, um, but uh, hang on. <laughs> this is just a, uh, it's literally just a one-off that we thought we'd bring to the show just okay. to show people. Ah, so it's the same colour as the desktop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, gotcha. sort of, we sort of had a little go artistically, sorry, I was strangling you with the cable. Um, for the Super 6, obviously it's nice to have something new to show. Obviously we've been working really, really hard. It's our core focus. Uh, we've got a big update coming out. We've got some really nice things for it. Um, one of the nice features we've got, I don't know if we've got two pedals here. I've got a stereo splitter in the back here. So yeah, I've got a couple of pedals. And on this little pedal, I've actually got a nice feature, which is... Delay freeze. So I can basically hold what's in the delay line and now play along to the top. Without adding in. And then of course I can fade it out, add a little bit more in. And it will carry on forever in a nice sort of performance fashion. That, that is lovely. It sounds really nice. And then of course, it's not immediate, so when I fade out the freeze, what's in there gradually goes down in combination with this control, and you gradually replace it with what you've been paying. So you can do some really nice... <laughs> cool, great, so feature, a, great feature. So that's, that's really, I'm having so much fun with it. Tomorrow at half past five in the auditorium, I'm going to do a little performance for two cents and just really using the delay freeze to do building echoes and repeats and fading one in and kind of creating that sort of like eerie tension and sort of building along underneath it. And it's sort of, um, yeah, very excited about that. And of course, MPE. So we've ah, yeah. got, uh, here we've got a synth that's set up uh, on the desktop. We've got more of a sort of studio rig here. Um, we were just setting up the Touche. Um, that's not actually connected. Um, I'm not quite sure where, how or where this is set up. Um, but uh, if we're on, we should... Um, oh, we've got a bit of a loud level, sorry. <laughs> So you can have a little bit of fun with your MPE controllers. So um, very, very easy. Should just work for people with most MPE controllers out of the box. So that's the five dimensions of touch. We've got um, obviously the poly pressure. 
and kind of uh, axis, expression axis. Then of course the yeah, the pitch band. Oh, it's all a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, we have, um, of course, that's a monophonic sound. Oddly, um, I find these controllers quite good for monophonic sound. This is only a tiny thing, so it's quite difficult to play poly. Something a bit softer. What I really like about uh, polyphonic stuff is the way that you can, you get those kind of wonky chords, so they're just yeah. slightly detuned, because it's yeah. quite, if you set it too sensitive, it's quite hard to, it's like playing a fretless guitar, it's, I know. but it's quite nice. I'm going to go next door, and I'm going to plug this into the Harkin Continuum and have a bit of fun, because although it looks like a keyboard here, I'd actually much prefer it if there weren't any keys, oh, okay. and like you say, the wonky chords, like, uh, then of course you can bend the whole chord. Just the individual notes. Or the individual note. Yeah. But anyway, lots of fun with MPE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and wide, wide bending fingers. So, yeah, I think, you know, we're here. Um, yeah, lots of improvements. So we're going to put these out very quickly when we get back. We're going to obviously work hard, give people the MPE. I've got my instrument arriving, so we're going to test it with all So this is just a firmware update, presumably, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was always planned to have it. Um, we've got the new waveform pack. Oh, one more oh, yeah. thing, if you've got time. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm just going to show you something very basic. I'm going to start from simple init patch. So somewhere we should have simple sawtooth. We've got, um, I mean, the Super 6 sounds quite sort of polite. You know, it's, it's not a raucous, aggressive synth. It's like quite a sort of silky synth. But what we've done is we've tried to bring out a waveform pack, or hopefully have brought out a waveform pack which focuses on really sort of unharmonious sounds. So, so kind of um, artificially type bell tones. So I'm going to start from... So everything kind of a bit, uh, a bit de-rezzed and... A bit discordant. Gosh. So, kind of. Uh, let's put a bit of a uh, legato on that. Anyway, bit of an interesting little demo there, but it'd take me a while to make something nice with it. But. Right. So, so this is again. It's just a firmware update that. You yeah. This is not a firmware update. We actually, the waveforms themselves, you can just load them on. It's very oh, simple. Yeah, the USB thing, isn't yeah it? you just plug it in with USB. And so we've got 16 kind of uh, odd discordant waves, basically. And it just makes sort of new, um, new sort of sounds. And they load into that... uh, one of the oscillators, don't they? Is that the. Yeah, so DDS1, yeah. so we just started from a, an init patch. That's quite nice because it's got a kind of breathy part. But they all focus on discordant. Uh, so yeah, you just load them into DS1. Usually it would have like a sawtooth or something. It's just a saw. You switch it to here. And you choose them. And then you can detune them. So quite nice if you want to do sort of um, artificially kind of, you know, a bit gnarlier sounds. And that's all starting from the init patch, just messing around with waves. Um, so hopefully that'll expand the sonic palette of the instruments that people have already got. And uh, yeah, we're just keeping on, keeping on, basically, making them as good as we can and uh, having some fun while we're doing it. <laughs>
Thank you so much, George. Cool, no, thanks very much, Nick. And, uh, yeah, thank you again.